Today, I'm opening up the largest printer I've ever seen. Just for scale, I'm a human person. This is the box. having a hard time figuring out how to take this giant printer out of this box over here. And then I realized I was making it way more difficult than it needed to be. Okay, time for a little context. The media program where I teach has a massive graphic design component, and part of that requires my students and I to do a lot of printing. And in the past, for years and years, what we've had to do is go get things printed somewhere else, whether it's like a professional place, online, or even somewhere just like Costco. What this normally means is that I pretty much always end up covering the cost. I always have to be the one to drive out, pick it up, bring it back, and it made more sense for trying to train students for careers, and technical skills, for them to be able to do that in-house. So the state of California has massive funding right now at the moment um, for career technical education. I thought it would be smart to take advantage of some of that funding, put it into a few giant high quality photo and poster printers so that we can print things in-house. This means that students can create their own designs and print them in the same room, in the same facility. It's going to save us overall a lot of money and time. It's gonna save me a lot of money and time. And down the line, what I'd really like to do is start making money for our program by offering design and print services to other school programs, to community organizations, to our industry partners, and really have students gain professional experience using these printers. The side effect of that is that I get to open and play with all of these giant super fun toys. My clothes have changed several times because it's taken several days to get this giant printer set up. It's all built, it's all set up, it's giant, it's beautiful, it has an error. Best I can tell is that this error comes from the printer starting up, filling the print head with ink, and then something goes wrong and the ink can't get sucked into the tubes to actually get put onto paper. So here's the problem. These tubes are filling with ink. These ones got filled up, these ones did not. Problem solved, printer working. Here's what went wrong. Printer takes these giant ink cartridges. This is just one and it takes like 12 of these. If they're not totally like slammed into the printer, it can't suck out the ink and then it gives errors because ink doesn't fill the tubes. So basically it was kind of user error on my part after somebody had to come out and repair it. But heads up, if you buy a $6,000 printer, you actually don't want to be gentle when you're installing the ink cartridges. You want to just like slam them into the, the thingy up there so that way the ink gets sucked in and then the prints work. Printer really prints fantastically. The very first print I tried on it, I made a mistake. I wanted to print a 20 by 30 inch, kind of like, you know, medium sized print. I accidentally selected the fit to paper option and uh, this is what I ended up with. Something which, as you can see, is a little bit larger than 20 by 30 inches. 
So this is just kind of a random picture I didn't even intend to print out, but printer quality, fantastic. So basically it took a week. Started on Monday, unboxing the printer, got error on Tuesday, scheduled call on Wednesday, printer was repaired on Thursday, printer is now printing fine on Friday really isn't too bad, especially because it was just my stupid fault anyway for being an ink issue. And one thing I really got to say, having giant photos, something along this size, is really cool. It's so different than when you're just looking at something on a computer screen or on your phone, when something is like life size or giant, it takes on a totally different feel and meaning and value and if you're not lucky enough to work with a $6,000 large format printer, I really do recommend getting photos printed out large at anywhere, drugstores, department stores, anywhere that offers photo printing services. Every once in a while go on a trip, take a photo, size it up, get it printed out real big, frame it, hang it in your house. It's really fun, they look really good. 